Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So this one starts a little bit different to my normal tutorials because usually I make two of everything. But in this instance, I don't need two Christmas wreaths. So I have already started putting a lot of it together because I need a lot of pieces for this because I want it to be a very full and large wreath. So what I've done is I've got all these pieces here. So first of all, I'm gonna start laying down the base and then I'm gonna start introducing other bits into the wreath and I'll talk you through that as we go. So if you enjoy things like this, sit back with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or whatever it is that you drink and enjoy this tutorial. I will try not to keep it that long because I will speed up a lot of bits, but I will talk you through each stage. So first of all, I've picked up these here. These are Duke Glitter Ribbon rolls and you get 2.7 meters and from that this is the last piece I've got all of those pieces that you just saw me that you know I just had on screen so what I've done is the width of this is five and a half so I've cut each piece by five and a half so I have five and a half by five and a half square you know sections and then for each one I'm tying them together using this candy cane pipe cleaners you get 60 in this pack from Simply Creative I've shared this in tutorials before and I've shared links to it so I should find them quite easily for you. They're either 99p or 199 they're very inexpensive but you can use any kind of pipe cleaner, it doesn't matter. But I wanted the candy cane because there may be parts of it where you see this and it just will all add to the final, you know, finished piece. So all you want to do is concertina folds. You want to start with a, uh, you want to start and end with a mountain fold. So it doesn't matter how many folds you have in between as long as you start and end with that mountain so I can just get another one in there there we go you just want to have that rolled you know piece on all of the sides there to give you that nice bow effect and then I'm just going to pop that around there and then you just want to twist really tight the pipe cleaner so it holds that bow in place okay it's as simple as that now I don't actually know how many I'm going to need yet because I haven't done it so I'm just going to bring my ruler in now this here is a this was, I picked this up from the craft show and I shared this in my, one of my what did I get videos. But this one here, in fact, the ruler's not gonna work. Let's use my grid. So where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's a 16 inch ring, but I've got the inner ring and the outer ring. So what I'm gonna, what my idea is, is to put a load of these really tightly around the middle ring and then a load around the outer ring. So you'll probably see me cut some more of these, but that will be done high speed because I've showed you that. I don't need to show you how to make every single one because they're exactly the same. I'm not a wreath expert. This is, I mean, I've made something similar years ago, but it was something that I gave away when I moved abroad. So it's nice to actually make something again. But all you want to do is pop the two sides over the metal there. In fact, I'm going to pop it on that one just to start it off and then just twist them again like you did. Now I'm not going to cut any of these off yet because I may want to attach other things because you can thread it through, you know, I might want to loop something else around there. So they're quite handy because they're that bendy metal. So I'm just going to keep them at the back but now you can see I've got that bow on there. So I'm going to go around again and you can slide these around, you know, you can really kind of, you know, just manipulate it to, you know, sit where you want really and the more that you pack into it, you know, the tighter it's going to be and I want this full. This is going to be very, very big. It might even almost touch in the middle, but that's what I want. So I'm not really being too precise on where I'm putting these at the minute. I'm just sitting them on, tying them off because I can always move them quite easily. And, you know, it's, it's very um, easy to add more in as well. But you can see there, no real pattern because they move very easily but I'm just gonna go around and cover that inner circle and probably start on the outer one if I've got enough. And then you might see me cut some more if I need to add more again. Okay, so I think I'm happy with where I am at the moment. I've still got one, two, three, four, 
five, so they might come in handy. I, you know, once I start moving things around, I might find some gaps. But it's pretty full right now. You can see it's a really nice size. I think now we're probably looking at, let me look on my mat. Well, my mat's 24 inches wide and it is, yeah, it's, it's hitting the ends. So yeah, it's a really nice size. I'm really pleased with it so far. All these bits here, the, the wires, like I said, I'm keeping them on until the very end because then I can just snip them off on the back. I'll just flip it over so you can see how it looks. You can see everything is attached to the wire there. So it's nice and strong, it's definitely not coming apart. It feels really solid actually. So Okay, so I'm just moving on to like the accessories and stuff and I keep forgetting that I need to kind of film little bits just so you know where I am. So the Merry Christmas, um, if any of you saw my What Did I Get video when I came back from the craft show, I picked up this. It's just one of those wooden laser cut ones. So I've just popped some white acrylic over it. Now I'm kind of in two minds whether or not I'm going to add some gold leaf to this. I need to kind of lay it all down once you know I've got all these pieces ready. And also when I um, when I picked up these pine cones, I didn't want to keep them brown. I did say I'm going to do something with them and all I'm doing is just with that same white is just kind of brushing up. So you're just coating the tips of them. It is a little bit of a messy job but I love doing this kind of thing and um, you just get a really nice effect and I think it just ties everything together because apart from the the jute that that craft you know that brown colour I don't want too much brown actually on this wreath that's just the main brown that I want so by adding this white it re I think it shows up the pine cone more than it does if it's just like that that can get quite lost whereas now it's got that white highlight on the ends so that's all I'm doing so again with this one here you just brush up you might have to go over it a few times get the odd bit coming off there just to kind of fill in those because this is a really thick one but can you see it just really does show off the shape of the pine cone I think so I'm just going to work my way through that these ones here they all come like this and they are from crafts again I shared those ones they're the large decorative berries but I don't want the wire and the, the actual ends of the wire is quite sharp so I've just pulled them all off so I just need to pull that one off but I just wanted to show you how they come but you just pull the wire off and then you're left with these glittery little balls and um, again these ones here are the smaller ones so these are your you get 24 pack they're the decorative berries and again I may pull them off I'm not sure because what is quite nice with these Got covered in white there, I don't really want to touch it too much. But you can twist the wire around like your pokey tool or something, and that can look quite nice. But again, it might be a bit sharp, so I'm not sure I want to do that. And then I also pulled off the wire from the toadstools because I don't need that, just some hot glue. And this is going to be, yeah, I'm really looking forward to putting it all together. So a lot of prep doesn't take long, this isn't taking me long to do. So far, I'm about mm, I'd say just over an hour in, so you can get quite a lot done. And this kind of paint dries really quick as well. So I will be back when everything's finished and I'm ready to stick it all down. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much almost ready to put everything together. I just want to make my big ribbon bow, which I'm going to show you in a moment. But there is the Merry Christmas. So I've just added glitter over the top of it. I think it looks really nice. That's dry. My pine, my pine, my pine cones are pretty dry actually. I think we're ready to go with those. I was a little bit of wet. I think it's on the bottom, but it'd be okay. And then the Ponsettia flowers. That's how they look. So they're lovely and big. I've made these before on the channel. So if you just click on this link here, you'll be able to see how I made them. And it's using this one here, which is the ultimate Ponsettia die set. It's beautiful. So many of you have already received it and said you just couldn't believe how large the dies are. They're so nice. You can do this in all different colours and you can certainly do them in maybe like bright yellows and things like that for Christmas and um, for the, for like springtime. Pink colours, you could do like a birthday bouquet. So many nice ideas with that. Then I've also got these little trees here. I think I'm going to go for the little ones. I've also got the larger ones here. But I don't know if I kind of laid them on the wreath and thought they might look a bit too big. I've got these really cute little gingerbread men. They were actually a garland. There's loads more. I've just got a few here. So you can see they're all joined, but I've just kind of snipped around by their hands. I just thought they'd look cute on there. I've got this, which I want to hang underneath the flower. So it will actually dangle from the wreath. I think that might look nice. And that was attached to it. So, but it looked a bit naff and you could see all the glue oozing out and everything, but I've just removed it, you can see how it was. But I will probably use these bits at some point, but I just wanted to do the bow. So what I've got here is some wired ribbon. It isn't the one that I really wanted. 
but it wasn't wired the other one so it's not really going to work but I think once the bow's been made and everything else is added it should still look really nice so you want to basically make um I've done this a while ago in a class so um, I'm just trying to remember how you do it but you want to make a loop it's entirely up to you how many loops you make them and how big that you make them so if I just give you an example so that is a loop okay but then you will end up going like this in the in the center of it and then that will become one of your you know ribbon kind of loops so if that's the size you want then perfect and I think that's probably about the size I want because I'm going to have quite a few of them so it will be quite big so my loop so each side of the loop is what's this one two three four five six seven eight nine so ten inches okay so it's twenty inches altogether because that's like I said there you can see and then I'm going to go back around and down again so that's my second loop and then up again my third loop, fourth and fifth, look at that, it fits perfectly. I'm not too worried about having a tail, I just want a big, it's almost like you know those kind of bows that you put on like the top of a car or something. So where I've got my two ends, I wonder if they're at the same end, yeah so there's the end of the one in the middle and there's the end of this one so what I'm going to do is bring the loop out this way and then have it so that they meet in the middle. That way I can pinch them together like that. Okay. Kind of do like a concertina. So again I've got a valley on each side because we're going to pull all of these pieces out in a moment like so. And then I'm just going to grab some of my pipe cleaner here, pop it in the middle and twist that really tight Okay, so right now you'll have something like that and then you can kind of bend this up but start pulling out. So as you pull each one out, so pull it out and then twist it. Okay, and then I'm going to pull the next one down. In fact no, I'll pull the top one down because that's bigger, so I have the bigger ones at the bottom. So pull it out, doesn't matter if they all come out because you can start, but once you add it onto the reef you'll end up kind of you know playing around with it anyway as well. Pull that out, that's the end of that one actually, so I need to twist that off like so. And then you can open them back off, but you have to twist them just because it kind of helps shape it really. Yeah, I'm happy with that until I start putting everything together anyway. So I'm just going to sit that to one side and I'm going to put this all on high speed, but I'm going to start laying everything down. So let me just bring the wreath in just so you can get an idea of what I've got in mind. Okay, it doesn't quite fit in, but I can get an idea. So that's probably going to go up there. You can see the big bow is going to be here. And I do have some more ribbon, so I may well be able to do like a nice tail hanging down. But I don't know about these, so I might have maybe one there, one here. So I just don't know. I actually think I'm not going to do them and I'm just going to cover it with these, with a little Christmas tree, with the little like star and the little candy cane. I quite like those little kind of groupings. This is going to go at the bottom. I don't know whether to have this going right through the middle or at the top. So like I said, I'm going to be playing around a lot. I'll talk you through exactly what I ended up doing. I've also got all these which I want to kind of stick on first. So yeah, I just need to kind of get my head around exactly how I want this to all come together.
Okay, so this is what I've done so far. So you would have seen me, kind of, because it was hard to keep this all in shot. But I really like these little sprigs and they're, they're from that, um, where the bauble was. So on this piece here. So I want to get some more bits like that because I think they're going to look really nice nestled in just to add a little bit more green. So, but I just need to tidy up underneath because you can still see a few of the um, pipe cleaners coming through. But again, if I just bring it up close, you can see there's so much going on on this. I absolutely love it. Now I do have this lovely ribbon here. I've got more of it, but I'm going to have that as my hook. So I'm going to kind of do something like that. And then with the pipe cleaners, have that right at the top here. And then at the very bottom, I still want to have this kind of hanging down. But I think the easiest way to do that is I'm just going to use probably this pipe cleaner, actually. If I thread that through. Yeah, and then I'll be able to just literally loop it. So I want to make sure you can see it. You can't see anything right now. I'm so sorry, but this is just such a big piece. You see it hanging down there? Probably needs to be a bit longer, actually. You do. If you like that, I think that'll look right. And kind of split it apart like that. I'll have to do that when it's hanging. You'll see that in the pictures, and I, you'll see it obviously hanging. The ribbon I can just attach behind it. That's about all I can really show you. It's it's pretty much done. I just need to get some more of these little sprig pieces here. You can see they're just they just look really nice. I like just they kind of finish it, and they can certainly be like popped in, you know, um, as and when. So. Yeah, I'm really pleased with it. It's all come together pretty much how I kind of wanted it to. So I'm, I'm happy with that. So um, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope it's inspired you to at least get the base going and then it gives you an idea of how you can kind of just start placing everything. Hot glue is going to be your best friend because now everything, you know, they're solid pieces. And this is definitely not falling apart. And as long as I get a nice box to keep it... Um, stored in this is going to last me many more years to come so i'm really pleased that i hope you've enjoyed it i hope it's inspired you thank you for watching please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye